Hello everyone, welcome to Barpandi, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I am Shuman, your very own Barpandi. Here, I am going to talk about the dihedral torsion angles of proteins. Well guys, there are two points to keep in mind to understand why dihedral torsion angles of protein is so important. First, a protein must fold into complex cell structure in order to function and second, the peptide unit is there. Now, if the peptide unit cannot rotate, some other bonds must because otherwise a pep polypeptide chain will not be able to fold into compact structures. Let us first see an alpha helix structure to get some idea. Alpha helix is a secondary structural element of a folded protein. The name is so because the rotation of the peptide backbone resembles a helix. Here, side chains are indirectly. According to the convention, side chains conformation are not used to define the helix. You can easily recognize the planar pep peptide units. As you know, they do not rotate. What I want you to notice here is how the two covalent bonds associated with the C alpha atoms rotate and create the helical rotation of the peptide backbone. In proteins, two amide planes are joined by a mutual bond to a carbon atom called the C alpha atom. This C alpha atom has a sigma single bond with the amide group nitrogen and another sigma single bond with the carboxyl group carbon. Each amide plane can rotate around these bonds with respect to the C alpha atom. In order to measure these rotations, the dihedral angle of rotation between the A and the C alpha is named as phi and the dihedral angle of rotation between the C alpha and the C atom is called psi. Remember guys that these angles are not between two straight lines, but they are between two planes. That's why they are called the dihedral angles. Of course, if you want to quantify the 3D trajectory of a peptide axis, you need to know these angles for each and every amino acid. Now, how to calculate them? If you remember your high school trigonometry classes, here is your solution. Let's say the first straight line is A1x plus B1y plus C1 equals to 0. And the second straight line is A2x plus B2y plus C2 equals to 0. Both of them are in the xy plane. The angle between these two straight lines are given in terms of the first equation. Now, what about planes? Well, the first thing is a plane is emphasized in 3D. So, let's just write the first equation here as A1x plus B1y plus C1z plus D1 equals to 0 and the second equation as A2x plus B2y plus C2z plus D2 equals to 0. The dihedral angles between these two planes is sim simply written as the second equation. That's it guys, problem solved. If you know the coordinates of each atom defining your amide planes, you can write the equation of the planes and then you can calculate the phi and psi angles using the formula. So, what are the distribution of these angles in the biological protein? Well, watch our video on Ramachandran plot guys, you will find your answer. So, this is all for now guys. For further information on structural biology, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our video, hit the like button and if you find it helpful, please share with your friends. You know that so far we have uploaded videos that focus only on the conceptual aspects of bioinformatics. But make no mistake, we are not going to stop here. We are going to upload a lot of technical videos that describes the use of computational tools and programs for various bioinformatics analysis. If you learn these techniques, I can promise you, you can address specific biological problems yourselves. So for the upcoming updates, 
please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys, see you soon.